So this is what Michael Porter's five forces look like. So in the center, we have the rival rivalry among competitors. So we have the bargaining power of the buyer, the treat of substitution, bargaining power of the supplier, and the treat of new entry. Five forces analysis for BSA program in SPUS. Competitors, strong competition, location of the school, and low differentiation. In terms of buyers, the power of buyer is high because a student can decide wherever they wanted to enroll with since it can be easily done by the use of the internet. So, treat of new entry, new institution, and capital requirements. Treat of new entry, there is a low percentage and possibly for potential of new entrants in the industry. It is because there are many things to be considered like the location, the licenses and permits to operate, and of course, it needs high capital. Supplier. We have faculty and staff, book publisher, and the SAP online. Supplier provides the needs for the BSA program. So the St. Paul University Surigao is not the only university offering BSA. However, St. Paul University Surigao is the leading university in terms of the BSA program in the Surigao as it promotes high quality of education. Lastly is the treat of substitution. We have online courses, programs, and seminars. So the treat of substitution is considered high as a student now can enroll in different online courses for free as there are school international who offer scholarship program online. Additionally, with the help of internet, students can buy books in Lazada or Shopee in their own convenience. What is SWOT? SWOT stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats of an organization. SWOT analysis for BSA program in SPUS. So strength. Competent teachers, school image, high standard, molded student into a good leaders and a Christ-centered. SPUS has a competent teacher as all of the professor handling major subjects are all CPAs or either attorneys. High standard in the sense that students should maintain a cut of grade of 88% for the major subject and 85% for the minor subject. In terms of school image, SPUS is one of the known school in Surigao offering BSA program. Weaknesses, blocking system, high percentage of low-income families, shortage of number of instructor. Regarding with the blocking system, there are times students cannot understand well because of the short time allocated per subject. Opportunities, experience gained in school that leads to many job opportunities. Also, sub-credited school. And lastly is the treats. Customer cannot pursue under the program because of financial problem. Some students do not have stable connection that leads them to be outdated. Pestel analysis is a management framework used to analyze external factors affecting an organization. Pestel stands for political, economic, social, technological, environmental, and legal aspect. Pestel analysis goes well with the SWOT analysis and joins in the opportunities and treats part. Pestel analysis for BSA program in SPUS. For political factor, we have tax policies governed by the organization and the stability of the government. These aspects affect organization in many ways as it provides legal framework of the business. Also, government is the one who takes an action to an issue being faced by the organization. The entity should know the taxes being developed that possibly affect the organization as it affects the monetary practices of the consumer. Economic factor, we have globalization and labor cost. Economic aspect 
may be a treat for an organization as economic crisis can harm educational outcome. For social, we have wealth of the customer and the changes in the behavior or taste. In terms of wealth of the customers, there are students who wanted to pursue under BSA but they cannot afford the tuition fee. The second factor affect an organization as it may lead to willingness or not of the student to pursue under BSA program. Technological aspect we have rapid technological adaptation and e-learning. Technology has a positive impact on the organization as it connects students and teachers around the globe. Also, social media help promote the upcoming programs and activities easily. And St. Paul signed for eyeball system in which the paperless e-learning program give more effective and getting students informed, engaged, and connected. Also, technological aspect create many opportunities. Legal aspect, we have the protection of data of the students. These legal factors provide organization with stable condition in which they can operate legally. For environmental aspect, we have waste minimization and green initiative. Environmental aspect is when organizations help to reduce carbon footprints and PUS practice the no plastic bottle policy and earth R that help to reduce carbon in the place.